Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Rotter 2 Brief. This is Steve, your host. Today I just want to talk about coralline algae. That's the purple. Your rock is purple. I've got a really cool guest coming on, you guys. You're not going to want to miss that. I'll let you know in a week or two who it is. Now, if you have coralline algae in your tank, it's a sign of a really healthy reef tank. It's also stunning. I personally love to see the purple in this aquarium. I first saw coralline algae when I went to my first reef store, when I got my 28 gallon aquarium, that was my first aquarium, and I was blown away by the color. I just thought it was breathtaking, just gorgeous, and I thought, I want to have a whole purple tank. You can buy fake coralline algae, man-made, painted on, in my tank, every place here that you see that's purple is real. It started out as one small rock about the size of maybe a baseball. The coralline algae spread from that rock to other places in the tank. Coralline algae needs calcium to grow. Moderate lit environments with calcium between 400 to 450. My calcium is between 450 and 480. That's how I'm able to get these really deep, bright purple colors. Um, a lot of people recommend using Kalkwasser as a source for calcium carbonate, and that can be added in your top off water. I don't do that. Coralline algae doesn't respond well to phosphates, nitrates, or elevated CO2 levels. It also outgrows the nuisance algae. So the healthier your coralline algae growth, the less likely nuisance algae will grow. Uh, I think that's one reason why I've got very little to no nuisance algae in here. My snails had it on their shells. It was getting on the glass. The cool thing is, when you scrape it off your glass, it's gonna float through your water and connect to that rock and it's gonna spread. I don't dose anything in my aquarium as far as, you know, magnesium or anything like that, but I will dose a quarter cup of calcium crystals once a month. The coralline algae devours the calcium. Regular water changes, if you do it once a week, it should be good enough, but you want to maintain that 450 milligrams per liter for calcium. To keep this stuff going. There's the calcified branches they attach to the substrate. It looks like little sticks like the end the, the tiny ends of a toothpick maybe but thinner. It looks like little spikes coming up off the rock and then there's the non-articulated the encrusting and that's the slow growing crusty type on the rocks. If you've got a friend who has the coralline algae they can scrape some off a rock siphon it up with a turkey baster, put it in a baggie and give it to you. If you trust their water, you can just dump it right in your tank, preferably in some rock crevices, and it will take hold. Thanks for watching.